So my name is Jen and I'm an art therapist. Um, a lot of people don't know what art therapy is, so I would like to just start with explaining and talking about art therapy. Um, the best way to describe it is art therapy is another mental health profession. So anyone you would go see to talk about your feelings or to process emotions, I do very similar work. But instead of just using words to communicate and heal and honor, we use art. So when something is coming up or there are emotions or feelings, especially when you don't really have the words for them and don't know how to feel them, we use art as a language to express and to feel our way through the things that are coming up. So the work that I typically do, I'm here in Calgary right now at the moment. I'm renting a space at Vivid Psychology in Kensington, and I see all types of clients. That's the really beautiful thing about art therapy is that it's not just for one type of person. It's for any age, any ethnicity, any cultural background, however you identify. It's literally for anyone and everyone. And the biggest question I get with art therapy is, well, I'm not really good at art. Can I still benefit from it? And the answer is absolutely yes. You can always benefit from art therapy. It's not about being good. It's not about having it right, not about being perfect. It's just about making the art and expressing yourself and healing through that. So when I see clients, we make art and there's no judgment. It's about creating safety to just come in as you are and express who you are. So there's a, an exercise that I'd like to lead you all through, lead you through today. It's one of my favorite things to do with clients because it really promotes um, imagination, gets you feeling like a kid again, and just gets you out of your head and away from the judgments that typical art making might leave people feeling. So this is really easy. I promise you anyone can do it. So all you need to do this exercise is a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be as big as this. It can be smaller, it can be bigger. Whatever you're feeling drawn to, choose that size of paper. Okay, and the next thing you need is um, something to draw or color with. So if you don't have any markers or crayons handy, in a pinch you can always use a pen. So if you are someone that is struggling with hand pain, arthritis, um, sore joints, I highly recommend when you're making art, something that's a little bit easier to grab onto. So these big markers are a lot easier to hold on to, less painful. You don't need to grip them as tightly as something as skinny as this. Again, it's totally what feels comfortable for you and also what materials you have handy. Um, don't feel like you need to go out and buy these in order to do this exercise. Sometimes just using the stuff that you have around the house is more than good. So doing this kind of exercise, as simple as this is going to be, it's really good for promoting memory, improving memory, promoting healthy brain function, for sparking creativity, and feeling youthful again. And another thing that's really beautiful about art and art making in general is that it can be a way to create memories. It can be a way to honor who you are and pass on stories. It can be a container to just hold everything you're feeling instead of keeping it bottled inside. Okay, so we're gonna do a check-in and I get all my clients to do this and it's just to really tune into your body and see how you're feeling internally. So let's do this together before we get started. So I want you to put your feet on the floor if they're not already. Okay, maybe put your hands on your legs and just become real still and real quiet. You can keep your eyes open, but I ask that you just kind of stare at the floor or you can shut them if that feels safe. And we're gonna take five deep, slow breaths and this is gonna help center us and get us into our bodies in order to benefit from what we're gonna be doing. Okay? So, oh, I apologize for the outside noise. It's quite a noisy office where I'm filming this at right now. 
Okay, so we're gonna take a deep breath in to the count of five. So one, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Okay, four more. And out. Three more. And out. Two more. Out. And last one. And out. Awesome, really good work. And so now I want you just to kind of check in with your body, see how you're feeling. On a scale of one to 10, what are you feeling? 10 being the best you've ever felt in your entire life, zero the worst. Okay, so when you have that number, I'd like you just to write it down somewhere on the piece of paper that you have in front of you. Okay, so we're gonna remember that number for later. So next step is out of any of the materials that you have chosen to work with today, pick one color that you're feeling really drawn to, whatever that color is. I know I have yellow out, but I think I'm feeling really drawn to blue. And now, on your piece of paper, you are going to make a scribble, so just like you used to do as a kid, all messy, all over the place, but you're gonna do it without taking your pen off the paper. And we're gonna do this for about 15 seconds. So don't be shy, just get in there and just start scribbling. Doesn't matter how it looks, you could even close your eyes if you wanna try that. Remember, it does not need to look a certain way. It does not need to be perfect. Just scribble, 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 scribble. Okay, and stop. Perfect, so you will have ended up with some sort of scribble. It might be really small, it might take up the whole page might be more jagged, might be kind of more bubbly like mine is. Again, there's no right and wrong in any of this work, okay? So now that you're done, you're gonna hold it up towards yourself and just take a look at it. So this next part is gonna be kind of like when you lay in the grass and look up at the clouds and try and find shapes in them or animals or people. You're gonna try and look for an animal, an object, a person. So it doesn't matter what you end up seeing, but take your time and just hold it out and take a look at it. You might see a couple different things, or you might see nothing at first, and that's okay. So just keep looking. Okay, and then if you can't see anything, that's okay. Turn your page. Maybe a different change in perspective has brought something else into the image that you didn't see the first time. Okay, and the next time, turn it. Perfect, keep turning until you find what you're looking for in there. Okay, so when you found your image in here, I want you to use the rest of your colors, whether you're using crayon, markers, or even just a pen, and go in and complete that image. Okay, so again, there's no right and wrong in this. You're just gonna use your other materials. And go ahead. So take your time. Maybe you wanna be playing some music in the background while you're doing this. It's just kind of nice and fun. Again, really simple. 
and it doesn't matter what you find there's no judgments especially when we're doing art therapy there is no judgment in this kind of work so just keep going and you can be as creative as you want in this process so if there's something else that you're seeing in here you can add more to it you can continue the image outside of the lines. If there's a bigger scene that you want to continue to make, go for it. There is no right or wrong and no stopping you. This is your image, so you get to do exactly what you want with it. It's so funny doing this video and doing this work with all of you. It's really reminding me of when I used to watch Mr. Dress Up with my grandma and after the things that he would teach us on the show, we would go and then try and make them ourselves. So whether it was a drawing he had that week or it was some sort of craft, we always tried it right after. So this just reminds me of that. Okay, and so if you weren't able to find an image in your scribbles, that's okay too. You can just use any of your colors and you can use your scribble lines to just go in and color. Maybe inside this line feels like a blue. Maybe this little triangle here feels like a blue shape. Maybe over here feels like a blue. It doesn't matter what you're making. If you're being creative, you're still receiving the benefits of it. So like I was saying, it helps to improve memory. It helps to improve and repair cognitive function just by being creative. Our brains are pretty cool. And when we're engaging in this kind of work, we're even healing emotionally. I don't know if you have any coloring books or anything like that, but a lot of people um, talk about the benefits they see in themselves when they just spend some time coloring every day. So that's an option if you want to get more creative than that. You can add designs. And then go in and fill that in. Maybe over here you're going to do polka dots. There is absolutely no limit to how wild you want this to look. So take your time. If you feel like you need to pause this and continue to work, go for it. There's no rush in this. This could take you five minutes. It could take you a week. It could take you a month. If your goal is to finish all of it and go into every single little space, that's great. This is something that's just for yourself. And it's really nice in doing this kind of art because there's no pressure for it to look a specific way. It can just be exactly how it's meant to be. And so if you end up creating an image in there, if you end up creating, um, yeah, an image, a scene, what have you, Something you can do next, if you feel called to do it, is on a separate piece of paper, write a story. Write a story about the things that you see in your image. It can be a short story, it can be a novel, it can be a poem. But you can write about the scene that you're saying and you might be surprised of kind of where your creativity or your mind takes you. So it can be something really fun and just lighthearted. And again, just to bring you back to that feeling of being a child and engaging that imagination. Okay, so again, take as long as you need for that. And I can guarantee that the more you do this, you will see that no two are exactly the same. And if there's someone next to you working on their own, they are gonna have a very different image than you 
even if you were, if someone else was to look at this scribble drawing, they would see something completely different in the drawing. And that's because they've lived a completely different life, they've had completely different experiences, and that's okay. Every story is gonna be unique to you. Every image is gonna be unique to you. So, I hope that you enjoyed this activity. And when you finish, I'd like you to come back and we'll go, and we'll do exactly like we did at the beginning, and take five deep breaths, and then we'll write down the number that we're feeling next to the first number that we wrote down, okay? So feet flat on the floor, get nice and comfortable. If it's possible, you wanna try and sit up as much as you can. If that's not possible, that's okay. Just get nice and comfy in a place where it's easy for you to do some deep breaths. Okay, so maybe hands on your knees and then just close your eyes. Okay, and take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. Okay, take another deep breath in. And out. And we'll do two more. And one last one. Perfect. Really good work. So again, just kind of check in with your body and see what you what number you are now on a scale of one to 10. 10 being the best, zero being the worst you felt. On that scale, how do you feel in your body? What's your body feeling? Okay, and you can take a minute. And then when you have that number, I'll just get you to write it down next to the first number that you wrote. And this is just information. There's no pass or fail or right or wrong. It's just more information to see, okay, did this artwork, this art making, help make me feel better? If yes, awesome. Maybe it's a new tool that you can use, something that you can incorporate daily into your routine. If not, maybe this is not something that is gonna work for you, and that's okay. All of this is about being curious and just exploring. So thank you, each and every one of you so much for joining me with this activity. It's been such a pleasure to be filming this video for all of you, and I look forward to seeing your art. Take care, bye.